It's finally on. What do you reckon? Welcome to Wild Track Spider Park. Probably known as Chipper. We're at a public practice site, proper. This is like, well, I suppose you've got a couple of days riding at yours, but it's like a, the beginning of your year, mate. Proper, isn't it? Yeah, this is a, you know, you take it back to the roots, I guess. It actually is. You used to come here every Saturday, even though it's Sunday today. You used to come here a lot. Yeah, no, it's, I'm not sure what it's going to be like. It's going to be like Western Beach Race out there. It's very right. busy. But, busy? Busy, yeah, a lot of people, but, um, yeah, nice to get back. So, like I say, was it a uh, day? Is it about ten for them? Fourteen. Is it? Yeah. Managed to ride uh, once in a week. It was all right. I think it's going to freeze tomorrow, so we've got to make the most of it. We get a few laps in this time of the year. I'm on a 450. I'm quite enjoying a 450 actually, but I'm supposed to be testing the 250 tomorrow. But it's going to be minus two tonight, so I'm not too convinced that's going to be any good. So. Yeah, just turn up, do some laps. Got bar factory barrier, big air barriers here. Big air barrier. Why, why are you, you standing behind me, Bob? I'm just standing behind you. Why are you standing behind me? You'll get my grey hair in it. Look, look. Yeah, we had a slight mishap this morning. Barry's um, put a new tyre on, but done a lot to change the compounds of the tyres, so it was an intermediate tyre, so we had to put the old tyre back on, haven't we, Barry? Like be handy when it freezes. Yeah, it could be handy when it freezes, but Dunlop have actually got a mega He's new tire. Like... Hey, well, I'm trying to do a sponsor. Pack here, <laughs> what is it? <laughs> MX. MX34. MX34. New MX34. It's actually really, really good, but we haven't got many of them. But I think they're bringing some tomorrow. So, yeah. Talking about how much money they took today. Uh, uh, how much money you reckon they took? I'm no good at maths. It's, it's gone up five, really. It's gone up five. It's gone up a fiver. Fuck, been moaning about it. Been moaning about it for half an hour. Fucking gone up five. Are you saying local? Still cheap, though, isn't it? Still cheap compared to, motor, to road bikes and all that. Still a poor man's motorsport, unfortunately. Poor man's motorsport. We're all here doing a poor man's fucking motorsport. It's lovely conditions, though. Beautiful out there, it is. Absolutely beautiful for early January. Unbelievable. What's, what's the Tommy at? My, you know, the thing that covers up your helmet. Your five skin. <laughs> Put it back. It did, yeah. Thought I broke me banjo. Oh. <laughs> I'm using cable tie these days. So just cable tie it back before the start of the day. <laughs> if I forget that, I'm fucked. <laughs> All those bad days I've had in the past is when I forgot the cable ties. God, okay. oh, <laughs> no I don't want to hang over the end like an old Hoover end. <laughs> Look how clean the bikes are, it's fucking beautiful. That's because you only did one lap. I did one lap. One lap. I, I didn't want to do any longer though, I was quite pleased to see a checker flag. The old arms were starting to get a little bit tight. When, it's, when the dirt's like this, it's primo to be fair. Didn't Sean Nichols get stuck up a tree? Yeah. Up that one. Who? That tree, my Ooh. cousins, uh, Sean, Scott Nichols, the speedway rider, his brother, he got stuck up that tree, you reckon? The big, the big yeah, one. The big, big one. one over there Off that's the above, top. above that yeah. van. Hit it so hard, he fucking got hung up there and they had to get him down. You know, we, did, we did used to call his van the Wagon of Wisdom. The for Wagon obvious of Wisdom. Reasons. The Oracle, he was known. The Oracle. <laughs> A legend, but he did like to exaggerate. So. I can't imagine a that. Little. 
<laughs> That's where sure, that's where Steve Potter come from, isn't it? Yeah. All his the whole shot kicks videos. Yeah. He ran sort of. broke down, he ran six miles with his toolbox. Yeah, ran <laughs> with his toolbox. <laughs> You've probably gone for the old roadman look today, haven't you? Why well, I mean, you mean? You've got a hate. Huh? Well, yeah, the tracksuit bottom. You knew where out. we were coming, didn't you? Huh? Yeah. You well, knew where we were coming? No, uh, just in case the East Kent boys came here. What did you say? Chipping them and that? Chipping them. Chipping them and that. Who's, uh, someone's smoking weed over there, son. What are you saying? Well, yeah, anyway, sort of big thanks to Mark for buying my lunch because we couldn't. Mark's and Spencer's was closed this morning and I didn't want to go for a sandwich. So Mark stopped and went to Waitrose. I did go to Waitrose. So I, was a bit, I was a bit out of my bed, um, to be fair. Got me a Taiko MSC spicy tuna and mango poke without the fork. Well, yeah. So, so we sent him over to the burger van and. Uh, that sounds oriental. Go on, go on, try and try and. Should we get some? <laughs> try and get some rice. Thankfully, it's like that fucking tacky, it's, it's stodgy shit. Tacky, sticky Japanese rice. Whatever they call mm. it. So yeah, cheers for that, Mark. Fucking great. Now look like. <laughs> what, are you, what are you even eating? What's in there? That looks a bit rum, doesn't it? That's, a, that's tuna, isn't it? Tuna. C-H, tuna. Tastes alright. Uh, weird though, isn't it? Uh, Trying to lose weight. Is that what that is? Trying to not eat like loads of, obviously rice is carbs, unfortunately. We need some form of carbs, mate. You are right, uh, Trying to lose a bit of weight. I, I did, I did alright before Christmas, I was training quite a lot, got, got down to about 88 kilos, which for me is like, bear in mind in 2018 when I was like proper in shape, I was 85 kilos. Um, got down to 88 and then went on holiday and I drank every day and ate loads and loads and loads of food. It's a good thing the season don't start until fucking August. Yeah, <laughs> first round of British Championship, December the 10th. So yeah, but I'm not complaining by the way. Because I think it's good they've reacted, because last year it rained all the way until well, okay, May. Both oak hanger rounds were horrendous. It was a joke, so I actually think fair play to them, they've reacted. But no, this, you wait this year, the first round will be a dust bowl. No. Dust complaints. But at Ling? At Ling? Nah, they won't. That Ling's, and it, and it Ling's Ling, always perfect. Like the first three rounds are like Ling, Canada Rights and Blacksaw. You look, it, and you wonder, what, why, you wonder why I'm racing again. That's, yeah, yeah, true. true. That's me done, three rounds. Yeah, that. I know it is. <laughs> So you want me to do a track review, okay. 
Well, you're already starting. Well, so it's quite sandy here, but it's also rock hard underneath. So today has been difficult. Like bike setup is really difficult because it's like loose, but it's not sandy at all. It's rock hard underneath. In, in this area, there's chalk. There's a lot of chalk in the ground. So it's quite hard underneath and there's lots of square edge bumps today so I haven't rode a square edge bump in absolutely ages because obviously the, we're in the middle of winter so um, yeah I mean you wouldn't use a paddle tyre here you'd use a soft tyre but not a paddle tyre suspension there's probably more hard pack set up this, but then this time of the year it's normally muddy, slippery, gets real rutty but where it's been dry for just over a week and they do a real good job of keeping the ground quite hard here um, so, I mean, it was absolutely perfect. You see on the videos, it was like hard pack track with, with some good ruts and stuff. So it's good. I mean, fair play to them. They, they seem to keep it open all the time, but they just keep it basic and just grade it. Don't rip it up. See you later on. Yeah, see you. Cheers. See you later. They keep it basic. They don't rip it up. You know, this time of the year, they just grade it, compact it in, the water runs off. It's quite open as well, so they get plenty of wind here. So, um, but yeah, it's a good little track. I think it's a good, you know, there's a couple of people that work for us, um, lads here today that have just started riding and they're getting around real good and enjoying it. Um, and then obviously you know, you've got some good top level riders here that can have a good day as well. So it's, um, it's mega. See you boys later. Um, so you can, um, <laughs> so you can, you know, it's a good mix and they do a good job of, obviously there's four different groups. Sometimes, obviously, people put themselves in the wrong group a little bit, but you know what it's like, it's always that way. So yeah, I was on a 450 today and it felt like an absolute handful around there because it was quite grippy and I haven't rode anything grippy in a while. So I've been playing with a bike all day, suspension, because it's quite quick into like compressions. They got some decent breaker bumps. So yeah, messed around with it a bit, didn't really get it much better I, I think I've said before but when you don't ride much you get a bit out of tune for the old uh, suspension so hopefully get back into the swing of things with that so I can adjust the bike a bit better um, but yeah well this is the second proper time I've rode this year um, I'm actually supposed to be testing a clutch on a 450 for the team I know I'm not racing a 450 but I'm doing a test for them uh, tomorrow at, at my dad's, which is a company from Switzerland, I believe, or it no, sorry, Italy. Um, but it's supposed to be minus three tonight, so I'm not sure how that's going to go. The track's pretty good condition, so. But and hopefully tomorrow I get to test the 250 as well. They've got the race 250 down. I can't wait to ride that. Um, and yeah, that's it really. Just keep trying to do a little bit. That's come off. You shit design, look. Mark, it's the chicken. That chicken that you bought me was rancid. <laughs> That's really ungrateful, isn't it? You actually stopped. You stopped and got me lunch because we stopped at an absolutely crap. It was either that or chicken tea. That absolutely whops. It absolutely sinks. be a load of Um Yeah, it stinks. Uh, thanks for getting me lunch. But yeah, um, so first race for me is on the 25th of February, I think. 24th, 25th, 26th, one of the three. Uh, Hawkstone Park International. Can't wait, did it last year. I got called up on the Tuesday before it last year. So it was a little bit, um, yeah, a little bit of a last minute thing. But this year I've, I've booked in before Christmas. Um, can't wait, obviously didn't do the arena cross, which was a shame, but I put a bit about that on my Instagram to explain it. Would have been nice to do it, but I'm not going to lie. We'll watch the first round, and it looks like it's got a bit, it's got quite serious. So I'm not particularly serious these days. So kind of, perhaps a good thing I'm not in it, but it'd still be good to be in it. But yeah, first race, Hawkstone Park, the international. Can't wait. As per usual, it's going to be like a Grand Prix lineup. Um, I'll be on a 250F. So yeah, just looking forward to it. Really, I'm just trying to build up a bit of fitness between now and then, like on the bike. I've been training off the bike, but got to lose a bit of weight. Can't wait. Should be good. Jake Nichols, here we go. Look, you ready? Back. You two, two days in a row. Two film, days in a row. Right? I know. I did, well, I didn't think this was going to happen today because it's minus two. But am I sticking these together or am I going to separate them? Who knows? Whatever we'll you want to do. Figure it out. Anyway, go on. Yeah, it's Sorry. like it's like we had a dry frost last night, so the track's a little bit frozen, but it's not bad. Um, and 
I thought we were testing a 450 clutch, but the bonus is it's actually 250. Look at that. So I'm on a 250. New bike, and I'm man. buzzing. And I've just done about 10 minutes and uh, got a small, uh, small erection. Small. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, so we're testing, <laughs> testing different parts in the clutch. The main guys from Honda are here. It's a company, I believe, called STM. They provide Honda road racing with the slipper clutches. Um, I think they provide it's not slipper eight. clutches. Yeah, they use slipper clutches. What? No, no. Not on this now. No, no, no. But um, and uh, I think they do 80% of uh, of the superbike paddock. So they know what they're doing. They're trying to get into off road. Um, and um, yeah, Harvey Beltram, the you know the main guy from Honda Racing as uh, UK, has brought them into brought them over to uh, test some parts on this bike. So. Yeah, I'm asking cool. you because you talk a lot. Well, it's part of me because I talk a lot. No, because I'm well old. Is that I, what it is? And I know a little bit. <laughs> That's it. <Good> job. <laughs> You know, the bad thing is for you now, mate, like, because you're involved, it means you get a camera shoved in your face a lot, you know that. Yeah, I don't want to be involved. Ah, so. you don't have a choice. <laughs> you don't have a choice. You already signed up, mate. I've just, they've just picked me up on the way. Picked you up I'm on the way. I'm not meant to be here, sir. So. God. Where's, where's your bike, mate? Why are you coming out walking? What's up with that? I've got to see how it's done. <laughs> I feel <laughs> like a out there. Like a, you mate, did look a little bit rough. <laughs> <laughs> What are you saying, Mark? What you know I was here, didn't you? You can feel me. Yeah. <laughs> you missed it. Not really. Definitely not. <laughs> What's your two pence? You got any words of wisdom? Uh, yeah, don't piss in the snow. Don't piss in the snow. Don't eat the yellow snow. Don't, yeah, don't piss in it. Don't eat don't, it. Just don't piss in it. Don't piss in it. Don't eat it. What do you reckon? What do you reckon? You normally have some words of wisdom. What are you saying? Black cat got pink arse on. Heard that one before. You need another one. What's the next one? Or will he need to take his old headboard off, it looked like? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wicked day, actually. I've done loads. You actually look half about, mate. I was, uh, mate, get, getting off a of 450 onto the 250 is just a wonderful thing. A wonderful thing. Wonderful thing. What, um, uh, what use of adjectives and adverbs and shit. 
No, it was mega. Uh, so we tested with yeah, S STM. Uh, they've got a whole different clutch setup, clutch hub, spring, uh, diaphragm spring, um, and mate, that was hard. That was really, really hard to give them good feedback or, or sorry, a, any feedback because it's so minimal the changes. Yeah, I really had to like, yeah, had to really sort of think pretty hard, but it was good. Um, and I, and I told them I didn't want to know what they'd done say at the other side of the workshop and just sort of said don't tell me anything and I'll tell you what I feel if I feel anything and thankfully everything I felt was exactly what they said I should have felt so they so changed what, the you're basically like full-on test pilot now. test pilot <laughs> they changed a couple of bits basically they changed the the way the, sp um, the, the type of spring um, and the weight of the clutch um, the weight of the hub and um, yeah, I didn't like one direction they went, they went the other way and it just felt, actually felt quite nice, it felt like more, the bike felt actually a little bit more connected, like when I got on the throttle, the, the lightness of the clutch actually helped the engine pick up um, and I did loads of starts and they were pretty good too, so I'm actually quite buzzing with what that, how that ended up to be fair, I thought it was going to be 450 tests but yeah, and the, the, their setup's really quite smart. It allows the clutch to get more oil, which is number one for four strokes as they get so hot. So, yeah, it was pretty good. And track was actually sick. Like, I, th I don't think it got above one degrees today, but didn't really get cold riding. And um, there's only a couple of bits that were a little bit frozen, but they kind of like, yeah, broke up. So, yeah, it was uh, cool. And the old man, to be fair, old man's still going strong. I'm not even like tired. You're, are you the old man? You're the old man. I've rode all day yesterday, all day today, and I'm sweet. But yeah, it's so good getting on a new bike, on a new 250. I'm absolutely buzzing with that. So yeah, it's cool. It's a good day. Nice to have Taylor here. He's getting, the head, getting his head around the track. Yeah, wicked.